All right, so Gengar EX. Let's take a look. So that top edge looks good. Sides actually look really good. The only thing I'm noticing right off the bat is this little curl or curve at the bottom left, as well as the bottom right. So that might have some impact. Let's see, the edges look pretty good, but let's take a look at the front. So the front, we have a few scratches. So again, one of the main criteria of grading is surface score. So right now we just got finished with the edges and corners. So now we're looking at surface. So right now I see one, two, really two scratches, which is actually pretty good. I love this Gengar art, it's so nice. So now let's take a look at the text. Text looks pretty good, but yeah, honestly a really beautiful card. But yeah, so I'd say so far with just those two scratches um, and these little uh, curled edges, you're probably looking at maybe a seven so far, possibly a six, depending on how severe these are when we flip it over. So let's do that now. So you can definitely tell that is definitely not gonna maintain that seven because holy look at those edges. So again, we look at corners, edges, surface, and centering. So centering honestly is not my biggest focus as you can probably tell. Um, Cause right off the bat, you have a nice chunk taken out of that top part there. And essentially there's just whitening all around that outer edge, which is really weird, right? Cause most of it, you can't see on the front, right? This card looks really good based off of the picture, of course. But when you flip it over on the back, it looks pretty rough for sure. So especially you can kind of see it really close with this magnifier here. That left edge is pretty ragged. So I would say just from that alone, if there was any other creases or any worse, I'm trying to think, any worse dents or anything like that, this would probably even be like a three, to be honest. But I would say at this condition with the front looking like this, with really the only notable damage was the two scratches and the dings in the bottom left and right corner. But the back is really where it's kind of taking it, taking the grade, honestly. But yeah, I would say based off the front, if I were to only look at the front, you're looking at around only like a six or a seven. But when you flip it over to the back, man, that is pretty rough for sure. So I'd probably, if I had to, if I had to give this a grade, I'd probably say that you're probably looking at a four, honestly, just from the amount of edge wear and amount of edge uh, issues you're having. So unfortunately, this wouldn't be a big card to grade, but it is a cool one nonetheless.